Also want to take you live to our nation's capital where a bipartisan vote in the Senate passed for the Respect for Marriage Act, paving the way for same-sex and interracial marriages to be protected by federal law. All this coming after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade over the summer. And in light of what just happened with that shooting in Colorado, we now have the latest reporting. Here's the live look. It kind of looks like Ichabod Crane weather there in our nation's capital. So as far as the impacts for all Americans, and especially that special segment of society, as far as moving forward, News 3's Brett Forrest has the latest. We want people to marry who they love and feel safe and secure in that marriage. And that's what we've protected today. I'm very proud of it. I think everyone can take a sigh of relief. Nevada Senator Jackie Rosen, one of the 61 senators to vote yes on the Respect for Marriage Act on Tuesday. The bill, as amended, has passed. A bill to protect same-sex and interracial marriages in all 50 states. Legislation many felt necessary after Roe v. Wade was overturned, letting states control their own abortion laws. You're legally married anywhere in this country. Anywhere else you go, they have to recognize it. It's really important to people that uh, their marriage is valid and recognized, and no one can take that away. Senator Rosen saying Nevadans support this measure, but recognizing there's more work to do. There is always progress to be made. We know that the LGBTQ community is under attack. We've seen it at the most recent uh, uh, nightclub shooting in uh, Colorado. Bringing up the Club Q mass shooting, which killed five people and injured dozens more at a Colorado LGBTQ nightclub on November 19th. The need for more progress and protections, a sentiment shared by the center, a Las Vegas LGBTQ community hub. But I think it gives us hope that I think this country as a whole is very accepting. Um, and this proves that we believe most Americans are behind us saying he hopes bills like the Respect for Marriage Act will help the LGBTQ community become more welcomed. Hopefully it'll help bring down that fear and bring down the rhetoric across this country right now. That was Brett Forrest reporting, and this was bipartisan, but there were several amendments added to the bill, many to protect religious liberties, which actually triggered 12 Republicans to vote yes. So now it goes back to the House before it then heads to the president for the signing of this to become law.